All right, so I just created the uh, composition that I had, that I, my favorite one, and I enlarged it twice, right? Now this is a six inch by six inch box right in the center of our sheet. Now I just created dark lines that mimic my small three inch by three inch box. But now you can see that this image here is twice the size of that image. And then this one here, this red image, is right here, but it's twice the size. So everything is twice the size, right? And there's my image. Now I have the underlying grid system from this box, right? Box six, right? And I outlined the images that are in red. And I can further enhance that point by I just did an overlay with a red pen. And there's the image, right? There's the image. So now what we're going to do in the next part is the model of this. We're going to build a model. Of, we're going to have five layers. There's going to be one base layer and then four layers stacked on top of each other that are just the profile of these images. So they're going to just picture them like as buildings extruding from the ground up. We're going to be creating a model. And the model, of course, is going to be the same scale or the same size. Six inch by six inch. Yeah, there's a lot going on here, right? Right, we first started out with the ordering system. Right, I picked this one, right? I did a composition. There's my composition right on top of that ordering system. Right now, this is the one I'm going to choose. And I'm going to now blow it up twice the size in a six by six square. Make sure the shapes are the same. And now that I have this, this is part one of the exercise that you have to create. Remember, no border on this 11 by 17 sheet, but it's on vellum um, and hard lined. Um, you're going to darken your um, design in. You could leave the underlying ordering system in. And then now we're going to create the model. 